Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. This is the fourth part of the chapter Squares and Square Roots. In this video, we are going to learn about the concept of finding the square root by long division method. So let's get started. Suppose we take a number, let's say 1521. We have to find its square root by long division method. So there are various steps involved in finding the square root by long division method. We shall study each step one by one. The first step says that group the digits in pairs starting with the ones digit. So as you can see, the ones digit is one. So we'll start from here. 21 is first pair, second pair is 15. Then further it is saying each pair and remaining one digit, if it is there, is called a period. So all these pairs which we have formed, one is 15, one is 21, are called period. So there are total two periods over here. Suppose I change this number, I say my number is 71521. Okay, now if I form the pairs, how many periods I will get? I will get total three periods. First period is 7, second is 15 and third is 21. So this is how we form periods. Now in the step, uh, second step they are saying, think of the largest number whose square is either equal to or just less than the first period starting from the left. Now leftmost period is 15. So first we have to solve this 15. We have to think of the largest number whose square is either equal to 15 or just less than 15. We know that 1 into 1 is 1, 2 into 2 is 4, 3 into 3 is equal to 9 and 4 into 4 is equal to 16. Now 9 is less than 15, 16 is more than 15. So the largest number which we can take is 3 whose square is less than 15 that is 9. 9 is less than 15. So we have identified that number which is the largest number whose square is less than the first period that is 15. Further it is saying this digit is the quotient as well as divisor. Put the quotient above the period and write the product of divisor and quotient just below the first period. So we shall write this three number as a divisor as well as quotient and three into three is nine. So we shall write product just below the first period. So this is step two. Now step three says find the remainder and bring down the next period that is second pair of the digits to the right of the remainder. So over here 15 minus 9 is 6. Further next period is 21 which we will bring it down and write on the right side of the remainder. So this is the new dividend which we have got 621. So this becomes the new dividend that is 621. Further in step 4 they are saying double the current question and enter it as the divisor with a blank on its right. So the current question is 3. Double it. That means multiply by 2. We will get 6. Write down 6 and leave a blank over here to the right side of 6. Now in step 5, we have to guess a digit to be filled in the blank, which also becomes the new digit in the question. So this is the blank, which we have to fill with the digit. And the same digit comes in the question. And when the new digit is multiplied to the new divisor, the product is either less than or equal to the dividend. The dividend is 621. So basically we have to think of a number which will come in this blank, which will also become the question over here. And when we will multiply this new divisor with that question, it should come, the product should come either less than or equal to 621. Let us take an uh, example. Suppose we take 8 over here. Suppose we try with 8. So 68 multiplied by 8. So what we will get? We will get 544 over here, right? Which is less than 621. Let us take another number. Let's say uh, 69 into 9, which is 81 and uh, 621. Now it is exactly 621. So that's why, as you can see over here, we have taken 69 over here. 9 has come in the question also and 69 into 9 is exactly 621 which we have written just below 
the period now in step 6 they are saying subtract the product of the new divisor and the new digit from the new dividend so 621 was the new dividend which we have got and the product is 621 which we will uh, uh, subtract from the new dividend we will get zero as remainder so right hope you have understood this step step number 5 and step 6 now in step 7 they are saying if the remainder is zero and no period is left as you can see over here there is no period left over here we cannot bring down any other period and our remainder has also come zero then we stop and the current question question is 39 current question is the square root of the given number so square root of 1521 is 39 and if the remainder is non zero then repeat the steps from 3 to 6 till all the periods have been taken care of and suppose we have a period over here and suppose the remainder is not coming zero then we will continue with the uh, steps from 3 to 6 till all the periods are exhausted now let us take up a question to have better understanding of long division method so the question is find the square root of 1734489 by long division method first of all we will start forming the pairs from the ones digit these pairs are also called periods so the first period is 89 then we will get 44 then 73 and then 1 uh, 1 is the single number which is left which will also be called the period so there are total four periods now we have to think of the largest number whose square is either equal to or less than 1 we are going to start from the leftmost period and we have going to think of the that number whose square is either equal to or less than 1 so naturally we are going to keep 1 as the divisor and 1 as the quotient 1 into 1 is 1 and further the difference is 0 we cannot keep 2 over here 2 into 2 is 4 which will be more than 1 so we cannot have 2 we have to stick to 1 1 into 1 is 1 further difference is 0 now bring down the next period that is 73 now over here if you observe our first question is 1 so we shall bring down 1 and double it and we will get 2 another method of getting it 2 is we just have to add 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 that way also we can uh, keep 2 over here and we have to keep a blank over here now in this blank what should i right so that i multiply by the same number and the product should be exactly equal to or less than 73 so let let me try with 3 over here and i am getting 69 let me try with uh, 24 also so 24 multiply by 4 i will get 96 96 will be more than 73 so i will stick to 23 so i will say my divisor is 23 my quotient is 3 my product is 69 23 into 3 is 69 further when i'll subtract 69 from 73 i'll get 4 now bring down the next period that is 444 so 444 that is 444 is my new dividend which i need to solve now my next question is 13 over here 1313 which i will bring down and double itself and i'll get 26 another way of getting 26 i can just add 3 over here because my new quotient was 3 i just added 3 over here i can get 26 like that also or i can just double the quotient 13 so both ways i can get 26 and leave a blank now 26 with a blank what should come what number should come in these blanks so that i can get a product which is just equal to or less than 444 so i can start with 1 i will get 261 i can also try with 2 so i can get multiply by 2 so i will get over here 2 2 is a 4 2 and 5 so 524 is greater than 444 so clearly i will stick to 1 over here so 261 is my new divisor one is my question the product of the divisor and the question i will get 261 further the difference i will get 183 i will bring down the next period that is 89 so my new dividend now is 18389 which i need to solve now my next question if you observe is 
so i will bring down this 131 and i will double it 131 into 2 that is 262 another way of forming uh, this 262 is just add 1 to it just add 1 to it so that way also i can get 262 now 262 i have and on the right hand side i have a blank and i have to multiply by the same number what should be the number which i should multiply so that i can get a num uh, so that i can get a product which is exactly equal or less than this new dividend 18389 so through trial and error method i have tried with various um, numbers but finally when i tried with 7 i am getting exactly the same number 18389 so i can say i can stick to 7 i can write 2627 as my new divisor my 7 as the new quotient and my product is 18389 and when i subtract the product from the new dividend i will get zero as the remainder now over here there is no period left the remainder is also zero so the question which the final question which we have that is 1317 over here 1317 is the square root of this number 1734489 so basically when we have no period left to bring down when we have no remainder left we stop the long division process and the question which is left with us that is 1317 is the square root of the number now one very important point to note over here is since there are four periods over here there was one period one then we had 73 then 44 and 489 so there were total four periods and number of digits in the square root are also four so always remember number of digits in the square root will always be depending on the number of periods which we have formed while making the pairs so this is important point to note over here so this is it hope you have enjoyed the video in the next video i will be taking two cases of long division method thank you everyone please do like and subscribe my channel have a great day ahead